Hello viewers, so welcome to my channel. I'm Hashim Ali Khan. This is the last and final video on correlation analysis. The last two problems, 8th and 9th problem I am going to explain in this video. Last video I have explained you the uh, Spearman's rank correlation coefficient. The rank correlation coefficient will be applied whenever the data is qualitative in nature. We'll arrange the data in some uh, ranking method. By comparing the ranks, we can be able to find out whether correlation exists or not. So there are two types of problems in a rank correlation. First problem where ranks are given in the problem itself. Second case where ranks are not given, we have to assign the ranks. The last video, one problem I have explained you where ranks were given. First judge, second judge, third judge, if you remember. So all the ranks were given, so directly we have calculated. Now in this video, the ranks are not given. We have to assign the ranks. I'll explain you how to assign the ranks. And secondly, when the ranks are repeated, then the formula should be modified. So how to modify the formula? How to find out correlation when the ranks are repeated? That's what I'm going to explain you. I told you again and again, don't join in between. First time, if you are watching this video, you will get confused. You will not get maximum. So my suggestion, watch the first video on theory. Starting problems, first, second, third, fourth. If you continuously watch in rhythm, in serial, in sequence, then only you can be able to get the complete command of the subject. Now, before starting the problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. Take a screenshot of the solution, then I'll explain all the points. Now, see the eighth one. Uh, ninth one sorry ninth and tenth so ninth problem you see calculate the rank correlation coefficient from the following data and x values are given 99 47 68 57 like that and y values are given 75 63 72 42 specifically it is asking you to calculate rank correlation if the word rank correlation was not given if simply it is asking you calculate correlation coefficient we would have gone to Carl Pearson nothing is specified always go for Carl Pearson specifically if it is asking then only rank correlation here ranks ranks are not given in the problem this is the first problem where ranks are not given we have to assign the ranks how to assign the ranks the ranks will be assigned either by taking the smallest as first rank or the largest value as the first rank. Any one you can follow. Either smallest as first rank or the largest. But same method should be followed for X series as well as Y series. You should not take one for small, one for large. Both should be small or both should be large. So what I have taken is the smallest value will be assigned first rank. Gradually with the increase in the value, I'll give you the succeeding, successive ranks. So here, X values are 99, 47, 68, 57, like that all the values. What is the smallest value? If you check here, the smallest value is 30. So for 30, I have given rank R1. R1 is the rank of X and R2 are the ranks of Y. Previous problem ranks were given. Here ranks were not given. We have to assign the rank R1. The smallest value of X is 30. I have given first rank for 30. Higher of 30. Next after 30, what is the next higher value? 44. 44 is the next higher if you compare. So 44 I have given second value. Then after 44, what is the next higher value? You can see 47. So 47 third one, third rank. So after 37, 47, what is the next higher value? You will find 57, 57 fourth rank. After 57, what is the next higher value? 58, 58 fifth rank. After 58, what is the next higher value? 61, sixth rank. After 61, the next higher value? 68, seventh rank. After 68, the next higher value? 76, eighth rank. After 76, the next higher value? 82, 82 ninth rank. 
After 82, what is the next higher rank? 99 value, the so 10th rank. Like this. The smallest value is assigned first rank. Gradually, just as a birthday rank, second rank, third rank, fourth rank, like that. Similar procedure. Same procedure we have to adopt for Y series. If you see all the items of Y series, what is the lowest value of Y is 20. So 20 will be assigned first rank, R2. R2 are the ranks for Y series. So 20 first rank. After 20, what is the next higher? 41, 41 second rank. After 41, the next higher 42, 42 third rank. After 42, next higher is 63, 63 fourth rank. After 63, higher uh, next value is 64, 64 fifth rank. After 64, it is 60, uh, 64, 67, 67 sixth rank, 68 seventh rank. After 67, 72 eighth rank. After 72, 74, ninth rank. After 74, 75, 10th rank. That's all. This is the new point in this problem. Ranks were not given. We have assigned the ranks. Now we are not concerned with X and Y values. Ignore X and Y value. We are concerned only with R1 and R2. D is equal to difference. R1 minus R2. 10 minus 10, 0. 3 minus 4, minus 1. 7 minus 8, minus 1. 4 minus 3, 1. D. Now square it. 0. 1 square 1. 1 square 1. 1 square 1. 1 square 1. 4 square 16. 3 square 9. 2 square 4. Take the total 34. From here onwards, exactly same procedure. You have to remember the formula for uh, Spearman rank correlation. Rs is equal to 1 minus 6 summation d square divided by n cube minus n. Same formula what we have applied in the previous video also. 1 minus 6, summation d square 34, 6 into 34, divided by n, n stands for how many pairs we have, totally 10 pairs we have, so n is equal to 10, 10 cube minus 10, 10 cube means 10 into 10 into 10, 1000, 1000 minus 10, you will get 990, so 6 into 34, 204, divided by 990, you will get 0 0.206. So 1 minus 0 0.206, you will get a positive plus 0 0.794. That's it. So the new point in this problem is ranks are not given. We have assigned the ranks and we have calculated rank correlation coefficient. That's it. Now, the last and final problem, 10th one. Apply rank method to find out correlation between X and Y from the following data. Here also data is given, we have to assign the ranks, just like the previous problem. But the new point is, we have repeated ranks here, same values we have. Previous problem, every value was unique one. There is no repetition of values. X and Y series, you can see there is no repeated values. All values are different, unique values. But in 10th problem, we will come across where the values are same. The so repeated ranks will occur. So how to make uh, modify the formula? I'll tell you. X values are 15, 20, 20, 20, 15. Then Y values are 10, 12, 60, 60, 70. So what do you observe? In X series, 20 is repeating three times. In Y series, 60 is repeating two times. So two groups are made. One group in X series, the other group in Y series of the same values. How to find out? Calculation of Spearman rank correlation. Repeated ranks. By seeing the problem itself, we can see there is repeated values. So X values are 15, 20, 20, 20, 15. Y values 10, 12, 60, 60, 70. Now we have to assign R rank. One. What is the lowest value in this X series? 15. So for 15, I have given first rank. Higher to 15 is 20. But 20 is not occurring once. 20 is occurring three times. So we have to take the average of the three ranks. First rank is over. After first rank, the second rank, third rank, fourth rank. Because three values are there. 20, 20, 20. We have to give the average rank. Average of the next three ranks. So after first rank, second rank, third rank and fourth rank. The average of this second, third, fourth, here I have taken. Average rank. 
second rank plus third rank plus fourth rank. Three ranks are there. Divided by three. So two plus three, five. Five plus four, nine. Nine divided by three is three. So average rank is three. So I have taken third rank for 20th third rank. For 20th third rank. For 20th third rank. This is the average rank. How many ranks are over? Four ranks are over. First rank. Second rank, third rank, fourth rank. Four ranks are over. Now, finally, fifth rank. What is the highest value? 50. 50 go fifth rank. That's it. Now, same procedure for Y series. Y series, what is the lowest value? 10. For 10, I have given first rank. After 10, the next higher value is 12. 12, I have given second rank. After 12, the next higher value is 60. But 60 is occurring two times. Repeated. So after second rank, the next two ranks are third rank and fourth rank. After two ranks, the next two ranks are third and fourth. So to take the average rank. Third rank plus fourth rank divided by two. So three plus four, seven, seven divided by two, three point five. So we'll give three point fifth rank for 60, 60. Here 60, 3.5. Here 60, 3.5. So how many ranks are over? Four ranks are over. Last one, fifth rank. This 70 value, I'll give you fifth rank. That's all. This is the new point. Average rank. Now, as usual, take the D. D is the R1 minus R2. So 1 minus 1, 0. 3 minus 2, 1. 3 minus 3.5, minus 0 0.5. 3 minus 3.5, minus 0 0.5. 5 minus 5, 0. Square cut those 0, 1. 0 0.5 into 0 0.5 0 0.25 0 0.5 into 0, point, uh, 0 0.5 0 0.25 0 take the total 1.5 so we got d square 1.5 now we have to modify the formula when ranks are not repeated the formula is 1 minus 6 summation d square by n cube minus n but when ranks are repeated we have to modify the formula how to modify the formula here I have rs is equal to 1 minus 6 summation d square plus 1 by 12 m cube minus m plus 1 by 12 m cube minus m two times i have added why two times because two groups are there the first group is of 20s the first group is of 20s and the second group is of 60 right so totally two groups are there that's why two times if three groups are there we would have taken three times if four groups are there four times any number so two times i am adding 1 by 12 m cube minus m so 1 minus 6 summation d square summation d square is 1.5 plus 1 by 12 m cube m stands for how many times the value is repeated note it down how many times the value is repeated here 20 is repeating how many times three times so i have taken m is equal to three three cube minus three m stands for three m means three here second group in second group 60 60 is occurring two times so m is equal to two so plus one by twelve two cube minus two cube is already there here three m is equal to 3 here m is equal to 2 divided by n cube minus n n stands for number of pairs how many pairs 1 2 3 4 5 5 pairs are there so 5 cube minus 5 now you simplify rs is equal to 1 minus 6 1.5 plus 1 by 12 into 3 cube minus 3 3 cube means 3 into 3 into 3 3 3 is a 9 9 3 is a 27 27 minus 3 is 24 27 minus 3 is 24 24 divided by 12 2 no need of calculator simply by inspection we can see 2 cube means uh, sorry 3 cube means 27 27 minus 3 is 24 so 24 divided by 12 is 2 so by solving this we got 2 value similarly 2 cube 2 2 is a 4, 4 2 is a 8. 8 minus 2, 6. So 6 divided by 12, 0 0.5. 6 divided by 12, 0 0.5. So if you simplify this, you are getting 2. 
If you simplify this, you are getting 0 0.5. I have written here. 1 minus 6 into 1.5 plus 2 plus 0 0.5 divided by 5 cube. 5 cube means 5 into 5 into 5. 5 fives are 25, 25 fives are 125. 125 minus 5 is 120. Now you add up 1.5 plus 0.5 is 2. 2 plus 2, 4. So 6 4 is 24. 24 by 120. 24 by 120 you will get 0 0.2. So 1 minus 0 0.2 is plus 0 0.8. This is the Spearman's rank correlation coefficient. So in this video two problems I have explained you. In one problem ranks were not given. We have assigned the ranks and there is no repeated ranks. Every value is a unique value, different value. So there is no common rank. So that's why same formula will be applied. But here in this problem, some values are repeated. So it is called repeated ranks. So when repeated is there, this is the procedure just now I have explained. So totally 10 problems I have explained on correlation analysis. This marks the end of the chapter. Inshallah, the next video, I'll take up the next topic called regression analysis. So if you are satisfied with my lecture, give a like to the video, share my channel in your group, in your friend circle, so that more students can watch the video and enhance the knowledge. Give your comments on these videos. I'm getting so many, I mean, comments even from other countries too. Specify from where you are watching the video. And uh, lastly, don't forget to subscribe my channel. Inshallah, we'll take up the next topic, regression analysis in the next video.